Hello everyone. In previous lectures, we have learned what is a uh, blocking retries, and in this lectures, we will going to learn about uh, what is non-blocking retries and what is the death letter topics. So here, if you see, so don't be uh, scared by looking this diagram. It's very simple actually. So if you see here, okay, let me correct this. Every call is a failed call here. So. yeah yeah so let me explain here so if you see we have a one uh, topics customers topics and this customer topic is consumed by this con uh, customer consumer so just consider the case so when when our consumer uh, cu customer consumer is received the event one and our cons customer consumer is fails to process that events so it's tried to access the database for saving the record inside the database and just think like that our database is down okay so our consumer is basically fails to process that event one so after that uh, instead of a retrying on the same threads and keeping this uh, customers topics uh, block we can do one things uh, very wisely here so we can move this event once to the this uh, to the next uh, topics so let's say uh, we have another topics the name of that topic is a customers underscore retry underscore one so when first time an event is failed we will going to append this uh, that events inside this uh, topics so who will going to append this uh, who will going to append inside this topics so customers topics the main topics will go a uh, main consumer will going to append that uh, events inside this consumer underscore retry underscore one and this uh, this topic will going to listen by this another consumer so this consumer and every consumer is just the copy of uh, this uh, actually consumers so just think like that if you see uh, we have wrote a uh, kafka listeners okay so just think like that all the consumer is just a thread of the same kind of a logic so every every consumer is just have a same same logics and say everything is the same so when we start our application is just creating a multiple thread of the same uh, same logic so here if you see we have uh, another consumer uh, which is also exactly the copy of the exist uh, our actual consumer so this consumer will going to listen this uh, customer retry so whenever this consumer will uh, will receive the events from this uh, customer underscore re uh, retry underscore one so every con uh, on every consumer we will going to header with the timeout so this consumer uh, this consumer will going to read that header timeout so if that timeout is a more then this consumer will going to post so basically this consumer just wait uh, just going to wait for that interval once that interval is reached after that this consumer will going to process that event and just think like think like that this uh, this consumer is again make the uh, call to the database and our database is down so this consumer is also failed to process the same event even here so now this consumer will will do one thing so this consumers now will going to post this event will going to push this events to this another topics that topic is a customers underscore retry underscore two so here when when we have a new event in this topic so this topic will going to consume by another consumer that consumer name is consumers underscore retry underscore two consumer so this consumers when receive the event from this topic so just think like that again this consumer is also try to make the request to the database and database is down this consumer is also failed to process the same events so after that this consumer will going to push that events in another retry uh, retry topics so likewise we will going to have a multiple retry topic so we can choose if we wants to retry four time we will going to have a consumer retry up to the four if we wants to retry ten time we will going to have a ten topic for the retry so every topic whenever we have an index like underscore one it is just representing this this topic will going to contain all the events which fails one time and the second topic where we have index two so this topic will going to contain all the events whose failed two times likewise 
in every topic we will going to have a events and by name of that topics we can we can we, we can get the idea how many times that event is failed so at the end just think like that uh, in case we have a four retries and our applications is retried four times and after that our the last consumer last consumer is again failed to process that event that consumer will going to push the event in the dlt topic dlt topic basically means death letter topics so this is the end of that topics if we want to listen that topics we can do that and in that listeners we can do uh, we can we can log the errors and we can raise the alert and this type of stuff we can do that basically we, we here we can we can we can do the things ki, hey this is the events we have fails to uh, process and here we need help this type of stuff we can do and if we, if we see the default implementation inside the spring boot it uh, we have a default uh, dlt handler so that just log the errors whatever event we have inside customer dlt that listener just log that events and here one more things also uh, if we see whenever we push the events inside a retry one we will going to have a headers on that header we will going to set the interval so after this interval of a time basically this this consumer will get the idea with that headers ki after this times we need to process that event so this this uh, this consumer will going to be going to be in a pause state and it will going to come in a resume state after that interval time is expired and this consumer will going to process and if this consumer is fails to process the same event so again whatever multiplier we have choose maybe a double and triple and this consumer will going to uh, double that uh, previous interval whatever the multiplier double and triple so it will going to uh, it will going to multiply with the multiplier to the existing interval and will going to set the header and will going to push the events to the next retry topics and the, again this consumer when receive this event this consumers will going to read the header whatever the interval we have set up this consumer will going to in a pause state it will again come in a resume state after that interval is expired so likewise we can set the we can set the intervals basically with this approach we are just uh, we are just setting the back off whatever we have uh, read previously we, we, we can set up the back off after this interval we can retry uh, we will going to retry the next uh, time so likewise here we will going to set the back off like this on the headers so i hope it's clear for you this type of approach so now i have a question what is the downside of this approach here so if you see so here this approach is basically is very fast and it will it will not going to be like a blocking and it will not create a, a bottleneck problems at the, our consumer end because we are just keeping uh, customers uh, 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 free so if you see here we are just uh, whenever we will going to have a events inside consumers topic we are we will going to read even we are not even try the one time so basically we even we are not retry even for the one time on the same thread we have another thread that thread will going to retry and that thread will going to listen from a separate uh, topics so likewise here if we see our cust uh, customer consumer will going to process only for the one times and if we fails to push that customer consumer will going to get rid of that events and will going to commit the offset and will going to read the next message so likewise if we see our customer consumer is very very uh, efficient in this case it will going to process very effectively whatever events we will going to have uh, this consu uh, customer consumer will going to take the actions and likewise if we see this approaches here our application is very very responsive because whenever we have a event no matter if we fails to process uh, uh, our consumer our customer consumer will going to send a topic in another another will going to send that event in another another topics and will going to read the next uh, next event whatever we have inside the customer topic but here is the downside of this approach 
here we will not going to have a guarantee of a in order processing so just think like that we have a event this uh, this is event which comes first and after that we have a next event if this event is failed to process we will going to push that event inside the customer retry and our con uh, customer consumer will going to pick this event and if our application offer customer consumer will uh, process that event successfully it means the first consumer will going to process after the previous after the next uh, next uh, uh, next events so like, like with this approach we will not going to have a in order processing guarantee but definitely this approach will going to provide a uh, more responsiveness and this uh, this uh, this problem will not going to create any kind of a bottleneck so now i have a question for you when to use which approaches when to use this simple blocking retry approaches and when to use this non blocking retries approaches and that later topic is totally going to depends on your business scenario so whatever your business scenario at that time you need to decide so let's take the example so we have a some social website where user is posting okay so just think like that every event is representing the one post okay so here the order of the post will not going to matter so uh, we will going to have this things uh, we, will, we will we will not going to have any problem with this problem uh, with this uh, order order processing so we can have this type of a solutions and we can we can survive uh, with this type of a solution and this this type of solution will going to be very very uh, uh, this type of solution will shoot this type of uh, use cases when we have uh, when users is creating the post and our topic uh, our topic will going to create all the post and if we fails to process that post we we, we cannot like a we cannot uh, block our uh, we cannot block our topics we we can process the next post because every post is independent of each others so we can have this type of approaches but just think like that if we are developing a some system for the bank in bank we need in order processing we cannot skip this events and we cannot process this event maybe every event is a uh, dependent on each other so first we need to process the first events before picking the next events so in 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 banking systems maybe our application is not responsive it's okay but we always need to be consistent so where correctness uh, in banking system correctness is more more important so here in in also banking system abc in order processing is more more important so in banking system we can have uh, this type of a solutions because banking system don't care about uh, performance that much because they have a more uh, bitties of that correctness over the performance and all these things so these are the approaches and you can choose the approaches based on your scenarios i hope it's clear for you thank you